Good morning. I am joined this morning by Reverend Terry Hord Owens from the Disciples of Christ. Terry is the general minister and president, and we have just this morning voted on a full communion agreement with the Disciples of Christ. So Terry is here to talk about that and to reflect upon what it means to be in this full communion agreement. So welcome, Terry. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad to have a chance to chat with you. Thank you for taking the time. So Terry is the first African-American woman to lead any mainline denomination and the second woman to lead the Disciples of Christ. Her immediate predecessor was a woman as well. So um, just so exciting that you're here with us, Terry. And I'm wondering if you can start off by telling us a bit about the Disciples of Christ. Well, the Disciples of Christ uh, is actually the first American-bred uh, religious denomination. Yeah. Other traditions began elsewhere in Europe. Uh, the Disciples began uh, on the prairie hmm. uh, in a revival in the early 1800s in Kentucky. It's called the Cane Ridge Revival. Okay. And uh, came out of a Scottish Presbyterian uh, tradition. And then uh, our founders, Barton Stone and Alexander Campbell, one really a Pentecostal fiery preacher, uh, the other an Enlightenment hmm. uh, head, heady theologian, uh, really believed that it was important um, that there be no uh, test of fellowship. In hmm. other words, there shouldn't be uh, a way to determine who could be a part of us or who could really come to the communion table. So hmm. at the core of our theology is the idea of the open table, that the Lord's table uh, is open to everyone, not just to partake at the Lord's table, but it represents an open uh, that we believe that all have to fellowship with Jesus Christ. Uh, so that is a very important uh, theological foundation for our movement. So what are some of the other similarities between the Disciples and the United Church of Kenda? And also, what are some of our differences? Um, well, one of the similarities is the importance of the local congregation to how the whole church uh, lives and moves. And our, our polity uh, really is a very grassroots uh, one that's based in the congregation. We have uh, similarly uh, to the United Church of Canada, your new structure, which has three levels. We call them expressions of the church. So there's a general uh, level of ministry. There are regional ministries that serve uh, across 31 different regions. But each of those uh, entities work uh, in very distinct and um, somewhat independent ways. I, I reject the word autonomy theologically yeah. because we, we, we are mutually accountable to one another. But we do have that, a similar way of being. Uh, my position is actually a combination of your general secretary and moderator. That's probably the best way uh, to think about it. So we do have that diffused um, ministry that is looking to see what's happening in the local context of the congregations, a commitment to social justice and peace, uh, to international mission work as a way of accompanying uh, our partners and brothers and sisters uh, around the world and engaging uh, mission work not from a colonial model but from a model of accompanying and, and partnering around the world. So we, we share those values and of course a common confession in Jesus is the Lord. So you and the, the Disciples of Christ have been in full communion agreement with the United Church of Christ in the States for many years. And mm -hmm. in the United Church of Canada, we entered into full communion with the United Church of Christ at our last General Council, 42, mm -hmm. in Corner Brook. And so um, this is an exciting moment for us in the United Church as we enter into another full yes, communion yes. agreement. And you could really feel the energy yes, in the room this yes, morning, yes. couldn't you? There was spontaneous singing. Yeah. Uh, and people stood to their feet and started singing Halle, Hallelujah. Um, which is really tremendous. And I think uh, we'll start to see the synergies that we'll be able to, particularly across the three uh, churches, that we, I think, will find some exciting ways to, to work together and have a broader uh, witness across the world. Thank you so much, Terry, for taking the time to be with us today and to be part of our entire General Council meeting. And uh, we look forward to deepening relationship and partnership with you and the Disciples of Christ. Thank you.